All right, here we are up at the hitch, which is the next step in my unhitching and setup process. So before I can detach from the trailer, I have got to take off my Recurve R3 weight distribution system. In order to do that, I need to take some tension off of that by rolling up my hitch here and sticking um, that on top of the fastening block. So these are the regular Camco stackables. We could have used this when we were leveling, but I frequently use these underneath my tongue jack to save on the amount of cranking I have to do. And I appreciate that when I put them all back together, they fasten here and I can carry this around. So I'm gonna stick a couple of these underneath and I'm gonna start cranking this up, which will relieve the pressure on my R3 weight distribution and be able to make it easy for me to pop it right off. Okay, I'm gonna come around with my tool and see if this is ready to pop off. Okay, I gave this thing a couple of hearty turns and I've taken the pressure off this. This should allow me to remove the cotter pin here. Came right out. Sometimes this will pull right out. Let's see. It did. <laughs> So I take these off both sides and then I can bring this hitch off and get the truck disconnected from the trailer. Easy peasy, right out. Okay, I've got my recurve bars off from my weight distribution hitch. I've unhooked my chains, my plug, and my breakaway switch. And now, last step, I am going to unpin the safety latch, pull this back, and I am gonna remove my trailer from the hitch. Now I've got this off and it's clear, I'm gonna pull my truck up, and then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna level this trailer front to back. Okay, I've moved my truck, and the first thing I do is I take that cotter pin that keeps my safety down, put the safety down, and put that right back in its place so when I go to hitch up in a couple of days, I'm not looking all over for that. The other habit I have is to take all of the parts that I've been taking off here and put them on the back of my truck. As soon as I get all stabilized here, I'm gonna store those things in the back of my truck. My next step is to level my camper front to back. So I'm gonna do that with these rubber flex pads. So when I drop down my stabilizing jacks, they're going to be sitting on this. I learned this lesson the really hard way. Now, right now we're on blacktop, so I could probably get away with not using these, but I formed the habit of using them and I like the extra cushion they give me and I like the stability. But I was camping in New Jersey, down by the shore, very sandy. I had all my leveling jacks brought down and I was walking around the front of my trailer and I could feel it shifting. So the sand isn't always that stable. I walked to the front of my camper, my wheel chocks and everything else gave way. The whole trailer moved forward just a foot, but that foot was enough to break off all four of my stabilizing jacks. So that was a $1,500 mistake. I'm trying to save you with a $30 set of pads. So I'm gonna put these down underneath each one of my stabilizing jacks, and then I'm gonna check for level and adjust accordingly. This is Janine Pettit, Girl Camper for Campco. Life is better at the campsite. Campco.net.